Go, 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 go. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta move, 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 move out of the way, idiot. Quick, solve this Resident Evil puzzle. I'm so glad you were here so we knew where to go. Your power is fucking horrifying. I hate it. Wait a minute, fucking pause. So she makes bubbles from her, from her skin, right? I is that? Why she got the Omega midriff halfway up her boobs so she can make a big ass bubble? Is that why she's letting it just all hang out, my dude? Leave it to me! I'm gonna check through this wall, it's a dead end! Wow, I'm glad you were here so we could see through these fake walls. Oh, I'm glad these two are here to break down the fake walls. What are you contributing, Rocklock? Hmm? Hmm? By the way, much cooler name for a move, Kirishima. Freakazoid, crow, fucker, takes drugs, gets huge, clothes are still fitting, what the fuck is he I hate that, I hate him so much. All this maze shit is kind of a cool response from the villains. All this action that's happening is just sort of going with the flow. It's a nice back and forth of responding to what each side is doing. Lemillion has a good reason to go ahead and be separated for his own fights. It's nice. And here is where it starts to fall apart. Sun Eater. Shit. It took two seconds for Eraserhead to knock out one of the guys. Like, why the fuck are they talking so much? Just knock them out and move on, please! Same level as the pros, bitch won't just knock them out! Like, come on, dude, just swing the clam hand! We saw you do it three episodes ago! It's a fucking forced way of separating people into their own fights. It's almost as if they want each of the kids to have their own individual fights in the rescue mission. Holy shit, it's the Sasuke retrieval arc. It's so forced! It's, it, 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 it's the Sasuke retrieval arc all over again. Every, everyone's just gonna, everyone's gonna have their own fights. Everyone's gonna get separated. And they're gonna they're gonna do their own thing, and then and the big boss at the end they're gonna fight in big clash. It, 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 it's a Sasuke retrieval arc, except Sasuke is a whiny little bitch this time. Oh wait a minute, that's just Sasuke. I'm losing, I'm losing my mind. With all that said, Sun Eater's quirk is really cool. It's unique and interesting. It it lets you customize and think a lot more than other powers do. You gotta make sure to plan what you eat and then work out the abilities of each different- it's cool, it's cool, it's really cool, it's a fun idea. The fight itself is pretty cool. The villains have a nice, fun combination of powers that don't work the best on their own, but uh, they make a nice little trio. Sun Eater is quick-witted and fast-acting with his ideas, even if he does talk and think a lot. Got a whole character flashback in there, folks. And I like the villains prattling on about Chisaki taking them in and what it means to them as the rejects of society. It, it, it's good, it's good. It is a good encounter, but getting there, dude, is some of the most forced bullshit around. One of the most contrived scenarios that easily could have been circumvented given what we already know about the characters. Eraserhead knocked a guy out in one second! I think it bothers me so much because they have been doing all of this talking, all of this explaining. We had an entire mission debriefing as a whole episode. You'd think they would be a little bit more professional, a little smoother, able to respond to these type of things better. And they were! At the beginning of this episode, they were doing really good, but then they make a super duper big fumble for almost no reason. I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. And, well, the rest of the season, or this arc at least, is going to be based on the fights and how we get into them. So, let's hope that they can do a little bit better, shall we? Thank you.